FPC. It's a word, or I guess an initialism, that a whole lot of people who geek out on poi tethers are super excited about, and now it's available with the most popular poi in the world. Pod poi. Do the tethers elevate the venerable pod poi? Do they bring a host of cool tech to an old favorite? I'll share my thoughts with you. Drex here from Drex Factor Poi, sharing with you the love of poi spinning and flow arts to benefit your body and brain. And today I want to talk about the latest update to the most popular poi ever released. But before I do, I want to give a quick shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Fire Mecha, Flow Fests, Flow Toys, Juggling Calling, Pyroterra Light Toys, Spinballs, and Ultra Poi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all these amazing businesses and what they're doing to support flow artists like yourself by checking out the links that I've got down in the description of this video. And special thanks to non-business friends of the channel, Johnny Howard, Leigh Machinsky, and Becca Beckonen. Thank you all so very much for your support for my work and my mission. So, Pod Poi, in case you didn't know, are sets of LED Poi made by Emeryville, California-based prop maker Flow Toys. They're also kind of a big deal. They are easily the most popular and ubiquitous brand of Poi out there in the world, and have been now for a decade. I actually did a whole video talking about why they were such a revolutionary product that I'll go ahead and link to down in the description as well as up in the cards if you're watching on YouTube. Pod Poi were groundbreaking, but also definitely a product of their time in many ways most notably in their tethers and handles. Since the mid-2010s, thicker and stiffer rope tethers have been increasingly in demand, driven in large part by the popularity of poi juggling and advancements in techniques around throws and contact. In particular, a type of rope called VPC became super popular among this set of poi spinners. VPC stands for Vectron Polyolefin Core. It's a type of rope that is popularly used in sailing, and it somehow manages to strike a balance between being flexible and supple enough to spin in most classic poi tricks, as well as stiff enough to help with juggling and other related throws. But it's also difficult to cut and modify, so traditionally, it's been the domain of dedicated people who were willing to find workarounds or hacks that would make the rope usable. But Flow Toys has now created its own variation on this material called FPC, and yes, I checked, the F does indeed stand for Flow Toys. This variation on VPC is made with a different core material that can be easily melted, so changing its length and modifying it is far easier than it would be for VPC itself. And this means they're now marketing the most popular poi in the world with a native solution for those thicker tethers. The good people at Flow Toys sent me a brand new pair of pod poi with those FPC tethers to play with, review, and make flow videos with, and I've now had a few months to put them through their paces. So now, I want to share my thoughts on them with you. By the way, if you're new here, please make sure to like and subscribe so you get to see more videos from me in the future. I make lots of content around poi spinning and flow arts, so if you like this video, I think you'll probably like some of my other videos too. But back to the review. Now, please note, the electronics inside the poi haven't changed at all. So this isn't going to follow my standard review rubric. If you'd like to know my thoughts on the features, ease of use, etc., you can check out my old review of the Capsules 2.0. I'll link to that down in the description as well as up in the cards if you're watching on YouTube. This is going to be more a smorgasbord of my thoughts around the new tethers. It's less structured than my usual reviews and is going to focus more on feel than anything else. So let's dive in. So to start, many of us will likely remember that Flow Toys did actually offer their poi with thicker tethers already. Once upon a time, you could get your pod poi with fatty flow cord, and I still stand by these being the softest and most comfortable tethers that I've ever used. But they also never really caught on, and tastes have definitely moved beyond that era. And even those of us who were fans of the fatty flow cord knew that as hardware, they didn't really match up seamlessly to pod poi. The end didn't feel comfortably into the housing for the capsules, and it was a royal pain to get the heads to fully close around them. So with the FPC being a lot stiffer than Fatty Flow Cord, Flow Toys has addressed that problem with two modifications to their classic Podpoi hardware. The first is that the hole that the tether comes out of in the capsule has been enlarged, so now it's a comfortable diameter for the tethers. The second is that the ring used to hold the entire housing in place has a bigger hole to allow thicker tethers through. So like one quick note here, the width of each of these pedals in the pod assembly hasn't really increased, so now when you close them up, there are gaps between them that don't close all the way. And this means that if you really get cooking at high velocity while you're spinning them, there will be a noticeable whistling sound as you spin them. 
I learned to tune it out pretty quickly, but your mileage may vary. Cool, so with that ground covered, let me tell you some things that I like about these new tethers. So these tethers are clearly great for throws. In addition to presenting a bigger target to catch and stiffer tethers that flop around less as they're thrown, these tethers have a good amount of friction without being very abrasive. That's a difficult balance to strike. I've also found they're really good for gunslingers. The stiffer tethers make spiral wraps easier to maneuver and tethers with more girth give you more to hold on to with gunslingers in general. This actually kind of caught me by surprise, but it was a welcome bonus. They also turn out to be fantastic for a glow stringing technique that I've been pulling over into my poi dancing work of late. Shotguns. The more rigid tethers help absorb the momentum of the poi as you wrap them up in your hands. These are super easy to get to a full stop and they don't jiggle once you do. It also has to be said that these tethers are great for the same reason that I was using fatty flow cord for years. They show up really, really well on camera. If you've ever been through the torture of trying to pull a still from your video for a thumbnail and edit out the background around smithy rope, you know that it is a special kind of hell. Not only do the FPC tethers show up better on video, they also make this kind of editing substantially easier. What, is that not a common problem? All that said, there are some things around these tethers that aren't my personal cup of tea, but your mileage on these points may vary. I think my biggest gripe is just that for trying to move us into territory where the tethers are easier to adjust, they're still not as easy as smithy rope. When I want to change the weight of my handles, or even trade out a new set of them entirely on pod poi with smithy rope, all I have to do is untie the knot in the handles, do my business, and retie the knot when done. With the FPC rope, I have to cut off the end of the tether and then remelt it, so I lose a little bit of length every time I want to make a change. It's a bit more of a pain and it discourages experimenting with different weights and handle types. Now all that said, a whole lot of folks that focus on poi juggling and tosses dial in their handles with as little weight as possible and then just leave them. So it's not going to be a deal breaker for them. Now how about we talk about visual profile. Now I think it has to be said that these tethers are a perfect complement for Flow Mojo Poi. That is, the Capsules 2.0 put inside of Emojo Spheres from Lantern Smith. This setup has an absolutely perfect balance and just feels really satisfying in many ways. And part of the reason for that is that even with thicker tethers, I think we're kind of used to having poi heads be significantly wider than the tethers that connect to them. Most of the tech poi of the past decade has been created with that specific aesthetic principle in mind. But things are a little different when the tethers and heads have a more similar diameter though. This gets us more into territory where a set of poi have a visual profile more akin to sock poi. Now, there's nothing wrong with sock poi at all, but you do have to be conscious of the different visual profile that they have. For instance, people who primarily use sock poi tend to stick with more traditional poi styles heavily based in body tracers and avoid things like plane breaks or rapid stalls because even minor errors in plane definition become exaggerated when the tether is more visible. Now to my eyes, the FPC cord starts taking pod poi towards the sock poi side of the spectrum and a little bit away from the visual profile of contact poi. Again, nothing wrong with sock poi, and these pod poi are really sitting in the middle ground between the two, but it's a helpful thing to keep in mind for choreographing with sets of these. One final point here, the tethers were longer than my usual taste when I got them, so I trimmed them down, which is actually a good thing because it's part of what they're meant for and it gave me a chance to try that out. Now, this went without complications for one of the tethers, but the other one started to fray just slightly close to the handle a little bit after that. I'm not sure if I missed a step here or whether you should proceed with some caution in general around cutting these. I'll keep my eye on this tether in the long term to see if the fraying drastically impacts its usable lifespan or long-term comfort. Okay, so the big question. Do I like the tethers? Am I gonna keep on using them? Are they an improvement of any kind on other tether options? I'm gonna give a qualified yes with some caveats. In my experience, if you're not doing a lot of poi juggling or contact poi, the benefits to tethers like this are kind of marginal. It's definitely more comfortable to use thicker tethers overall. You'll wind up with less wear and tear on your finger calluses and likely have a bit more direct control over the movement of the poi themselves. But if you're hard up for cash or just starting your flow journey, it's a $10 difference between the smithy rope and the FPC rope. It's not a big gap, but again, if you're not doing a lot of tosses or contact, or you're not doing a lot of video or photography intensive work, then I don't think you're gonna notice a huge difference between the two options. 
On the other hand, you're eager to get into contemporary tech poi and want the security and satisfaction of working with a company that has a proven track record and a great warranty system, then your time has arrived, my friend. Snag a pair and take great joy in them. As for me, I am probably going to continue to use these as they are a good fit for my current style of spinning, and they're going to make my life easier in making video thumbnails, but I'm also likely to keep using my older sets with the Smithy Rope 2. Both are good. Podpoy version 2.0 with FPC tethers are available over at flowtoys.com for $149.95 a pair. If you order a pair, please use my promo code, that is DREXFACTOR2022 with no special characters at all at checkout. That gets you a discount on your order and it helps out the channel. So everybody wins. What do you think of the FPC tethers on Podpoy? Are they everything that you've dreamed of and more? Are they an incremental update to a classic product? Leave me a comment and let me know. This video would not be possible if not for the wonderful support of all of these amazing people right here. These are my Flow patrons over on Patreon and they, along with the people listed down in the description, help to make this video and all the videos on my channel possible. Thank you one and all for your support. Do you like my videos? Do you like my flow sessions, vlogs, reviews, combos, and more? I'm on a mission to bring poi spinning and flow arts to the wider world and help people connect with their brains and their bodies. So help me do it. Head on over to patreon.com slash directsfactorpoi and sign up. You can do that at the link in the description or the card that just popped up if you are watching on YouTube. There you can get access to a whole host of rewards and help me out in my mission. Do check that out, please and thank you. Thank you so much for watching, friend. If you'd like to check out more of my Flow product reviews, I will leave a link to a playlist of video reviews that I have done down in the description as well as up on screen if you are watching on YouTube. The YouTube algorithm also thinks that you'll like this top video based upon your viewing habits. So maybe give that a look too. Make sure to get outside and flow today and I'll see you with a new video on Wednesday. Peace.